Scott Mears with Alberta Agriculture and Rural Development. Um, just some shooting some uh, video on how to sweep for ligus. You notice that the crop is actually past flower, so this is just past flower, this crop, nicely starting to get into the pod stage. Still probably two to three weeks from swathing. So the idea here is we're trying to get a representation of the ligus population. Um, you'll find that sweeping in, in uh, fully potted canola like this is tough going. So uh, generally uh, I sweep one-sided, so on my dominant side, and uh, sweep hard through that 180 degrees. Then we, um, we take a couple steps, fight our way through the canola into fresh material, and then sweep again. Um, when you're sweeping for ligus, you're trying to get the net into the canopy as close as you or as deep as you can, but you'll find that this crop is very thick and heavy, so it's tough to actually get that net in. So you drive it through the crop as best you can. Once we're done our sweeps, we actually snap the snap what we've caught in the net down to the bottom, bunch it up, and then we'll evert the uh, the net and count them as we go. You'll notice uh, that we uh, squeeze it off when they start to get things, a lot of things come in then so we don't lose count, we just squeeze it off and stop anything else from coming out and then we open up and let them come out again and it takes takes a few minutes to work through the process so um, we recommend that producers or agrologists sweep half a dozen spots, ten sweeps per site is fine. Um, what you'll find uh, is that that should give you a reasonable representation of the field. Uh, heavy, thick spots, you'll f actually catch fewer ligus. Uh, we tend to catch more ligus in open, uh, thinner canopy parts of the field. So don't, don't over-represent that part of the field uh, if it's too thin. Thank you.